sugarcane, slime farm, and a roof and walls on the mansion. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Hello, and welcome back to Adventures in Minecrafting. We're standing right here in front of the mansion we built in the last episode. And you know, there is one thing that we really need to do with this mansion, and you know what that is? It's finish it. You know, you don't have to be completionist when it comes to playing Minecraft, but it sure doesn't hurt. I'm looking at this, and, and really what we've got here is a facade. It looks like something off of a Universal Studios backlot, and we want more than that. We want this to be a building that we can build out, that we can build farms in. And so today, what I want to do is I want to finish up this roof, and I want to get some of these walls in so that it doesn't feel like we're just playing on a platform up there when we're using our storage system. Now, the only problem with that is, in order to build these walls and in order to finish this roof, we're going to need blocks. We're going to have to chop down a whole lot of spruce. That's a whole lot of spruce up there. We're going to have to get a whole bunch of stone. Why, why is it, why is it that Minecraft only works if you gather resources? I mean, I, I guess we could play in creative mode, but here we are in survival, and so we're going to need to build this out. So how are we going to do that today? Well, I want to build one, possibly two farms today. So not only are we going to do the roof up there, not only are we going to get some of the walls in, but we are also going to build two farms today, and I'm excited about those. So here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're going to head down, and we are going to build a slime farm. You say, why a slime farm? Well, because slime farms produce stone. Bet you didn't know that, but they do. They do produce stone, particularly when you dig them out. And when you dig them out, they make stone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. We're gonna collect up a whole bunch of stuff that you need to build a slime farm. There we go. And we're gonna head down and we're gonna start digging it out. back and that is all dug out so here is our slime chunk right here but we're going to need a way to gather these slime up to to attract them to one side of the room i'm going to say right about here we're going to put in two three okay we're going to dig out a section here and we are going to put in a little enclosure for nothing other than an iron golem give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, we've created a little cage for our iron golem. All we have left to do is put his head on, and there we go. There he is. He should be all set. Why is he dying? <sighs> there we go. <laughs> now he's not dying anymore. Sometimes you wonder. Sometimes you gotta wonder. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Okay, buddy. You are here for one purpose, that is to attract slimes. And the slimes will be attracted to him. We've got him up here where they should be able to see him from down here. And if we decide we can build a second layer to this and the slime will be able to see him from up there as well. Now we need a collection system. So we'll cut all these guys down and next thing's next. Let's put in a collection system. Be right back. And what we need to do now, we've got a minecart track down here. This is gonna collect all of the drops from the slime, but we need a way of killing the slime, and that is magma blocks. So let's put these in here. The slime will be attracted to that iron golem up there. Where is he? Hi, buddy. They'll be attracted to him. And they will walk right over onto these magma, magma blocks, and they will be done for. Let's finish this up here. Let me show you how we're going to collect these up. It's a real simple 
system. And all we have to do is put that block right there, put this block right here. I want to get a comparator. I'm going to be reading a comparator right off. Oh no, we don't want we don't want to throw the comparator the hopper down. We want to put the put the comparator down. Okay, so we're going to take this hopper right here. We're going to put it this way, and the reason we're putting it that way is because we're going to put our chests right there. So we'll grab a couple chests here. One, two. There we go. And then we need a power rail. We're going to put the power rail right on top of there. Okay, so that comparator is underneath this block. And it's going to read through that block. We're going to take a torch and a repeater. We're going to put a torch right here in this block. This is a very simple system. Put a block right on top of there. Put a repeater right there. And notice that it's on. So every time we send a mine card out, it's going to go, it's going to collect, it's going to come back. If it's nothing in it, it's going to be on. But if there's something in this hopper, let's put these magma blocks in there. Notice that it turns the powered rail off. And so it will wait there until all the items have been emptied in the chest, just like that. And so every time we come down, this is where we will find... Our slime blocks. Now let's head back up because we have one more farm to make. What I would really like to do is automate. Be quiet guys. I would love to automate this farm right here. It's a beautiful little farm I've been going through here the whole time I've been playing and just knocking these puppies down and collecting them up. But you know what? It's time to automate this uh, while we're working. While we're working on that roof up there, I know that uh, this is just going to be sitting here, and I want it growing. I want it collecting. I want it gathering in a chest somewhere right here. And so I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to automate this farm. We're going to set up a little system here to cut down the sugar cane and to collect it. Now I know I I, I know. With the, there you are. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Sean, this this farm doesn't doesn't produce stone. It it produces sugar cane, and you're right. But I know I'm gonna be up there. I'm gonna be up there on the roof for a while, and I'd like it to be collecting sugar cane because we need as much paper as possible when we finally build our villager trading hall. So let me set something up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We've spread the sugarcane apart. We need this wall in the middle because we're going to use slime blocks to push the sugarcane off and we want it to push it right into this wall where it will slide down into that water and collect down here at the end where we've put some hoppers leading into a chest. Nothing in there yet, but now it's time to add the slime blocks. So let's go down and see how our slime farm is doing. Here we are, right at our collection system. You can hear the minecart, uh, the hopper minecart working in there. Should be coming back real soon. Here it comes. Didn't dump anything off th this time, but let's see what is in the chest. And look at that, perfect. Okay, let's gather these up and head back up and we will convert these into slime blocks go and let's see how many we can get from that oh just short of what we need that's okay it'll keep collecting and we'll fix this up later but for now let's go ahead and put this together you're saying how is this gonna work well watch this put a block there block there where's our sticky pistons there's our sticky pistons sticky piston there We don't need this dirt. Okay, very good. Now let's set up a clock that will tell this sticky piston when to chop down the sugar cane. Give me just a second and I'll be right back. This is an etho hopper clock and the way this works is we've got two hoppers 
pointing into each other and they're going to exchange items back and forth because we're going to pull out a comparator signal from that one and that one. We're going to run that into a block. Let's use a dirt block for right now, though I prefer to use something different. Um, here we go. Put a piece of redstone there. Where's my dirt? Where's my dirt? Piece of redstone there. Perfect. Now, let's show you a little bit how this works. Let's just put three items in there. And every time those items switch back and forth between hoppers, it's going to switch these hoppers back and forth. There we go. Got our slime balls back, I think. Yep, we've got them all. Now, that's a little too quick. We don't want this cutting that fast. Oh, got to sleep. Sun's coming up. We're all nice and rested. And we'll come back over here. And what we want to do is we want to put a signal out like this. And I want you to notice something. That's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of redstone. We want it to be exactly six when these sticky pistons fire. Okay, and then we'll take our remaining blocks and put them there. Okay, now our system is entirely set up. All we have to do is put exactly the right number of items in here so that as these grow, the pistons fire. We'll add, we'll add the slime box later. And chop down the sugar cane, feeding it right down into that chest. Now, I've done my math, and what we need is 64 and 52. There we go. And we're going to put that in there and that in there. And there we go. Now when that gets down, let's wait just a little bit, and when that gets down to having all the items in that hopper, it's going to take a reading. That reading is going to be right up to six, and it's going to fire that piston. Here we are. It's almost there. It's almost up to 52, and let's see what happens when it hits 52. And you notice it pulled back right away. That's because as soon as it hits 52, this clock switches and locks this hopper. So this one is now free to let go of the items. And once it lets go of the items, this comparator is no longer getting a full signal strength of six. And so it'll start sending. In fact, if you watch, these redstone dots are getting stronger and stronger. This one's going to be next. There it goes. And let's see where we're at. Okay, as soon as this gets up to 52, that's going to fire. It's going to move this redstone block. And this piston is going to release, or it's going to pull back again, and it'll be ready for the other one to go. See, there it goes. Perfect. Now, you'll notice it doesn't always cut something down, but at this timing, whenever something is grown, it is going to cut it down, and that's what we want. We want it collecting continually no matter how many are grown. Some of these systems have observers. Uh, they tend to be expensive because they have a whole line of observers that are watching these sugarcane to see when they grow. And, and we don't care about that. We just want it to collect every so often and make sure it's continually collecting, not waiting until they are all grown to collect. And there we have it. So I think it's time, now that this is collecting and that'll be collecting the whole time we're working up there, uh, let's head up top.
And look at that. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? And now we need some lighting up there. We need, uh, we're going to have a second story. We'll have at least two stories, possibly three stories on this building. So we've got to build those. We've still got to finish out the inside. We've still got to build out this window right here. It's going to have a roof that's jutting out, coming out over it. And then over to these sides, we're going to have two wings of our mansion. We'll have a wing over here and a wing over here. And I think what I've decided is this wing over here, this is gonna be the library. So we're gonna cut down all these trees and we're gonna take this wing out. And this is where we are going to bring our villagers up to begin uh, trading with them. We want a whole score of librarian villagers that we can get all of the enchantments from and we can get all the tools, all these tools, yep. It, that, that, that's not a tool, that's that's a piece of pork. Okay, we're gonna get all these tools enchanted all the way. That's what we want. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We've got the walls up, we've got the roof up, we've got two farms built. I'm gonna keep doing some work. I'm really motivated to do some work inside filling out this mansion. And we'll see you next time.